Everyone wants to know about Miranda Lambert's new husband Brendan McLaughlin. Learn more about the mystery man who tied the knot with Miranda here. Miranda Lambert stunned her entire fan base by revealing that she had gotten married to a man named Brendan McLaughlin. While not much is currently known about Brendan, here are five facts about Miranda's hubby that we were able to uncover. 1. He's an NYPD cop. Some eagle-eyed Twitter users did a little detective work and discovered multiple pictures of Brendan in uniform shared by NYPD Midtown South's account over the last few years. 2. He's listed on the site Model Mayhem, a database used by models to get work and connect with other professionals in the industry. Having joined in 2010, Brendan wrote in his bio, My name is Brendan McLaughlin. I am 19 years old and live in New York. I am on this site to build my portfolio. My style is all American boy slash Abercrombie slash sporty but I'm open-minded, so feel free to network with me, share your ideas, and organize sessions. The site also lists McLaughlin's age as 28. 3. McLaughlin was recently praised for his actions involving a robbery in March, 2018. NYPD Midtown South's Twitter account wrote, Poe McLaughlin apprehended perpetrator in a bank robbery in progress and Poe Donato had a pickup arrest of a truck burglary closing out several open complaints. Job well done guys. Hashtag it's what we do hashtag night protecting. 4. He was thanked by Jared Leho after the musician held impromptu fan meet and greets at various places throughout New York for his Mars Across America tour. Jared posted a photo of himself with McLaughlin on Twitter, writing, Thank you to NY's finest for their kindness plus incredible support today. Hashtag Mars Across America. 5. He started dating Miranda at some point in the last six months. Miranda told the Tennessean on August 24 that she was single, adding, Love is a hard road sometimes and it's been a roller coaster ride for me but I'm definitely thankful for all the ups and downs because I've had some really good songs come out of it. You've got to take the bad parts and put them on paper and then move on to the happy parts. 